Good morning and welcome to a typical training day with Search Dog Sussex. What I'm going to try and do today is put together hopefully a fairly short video to give you an idea of what we do at our training days. Now today we've only got three dogs to train today because majority of the team are off fundraising at an event. Um, so there's not many of us. Um, I'm at the car now uh, as the controller. Um, so I've got the radio and make looking after the cars, looking after the dogs that are still here. Um, so in a moment I'll, uh, I'll cut okay, to... Control, control from zero three. Zero three control, go ahead. Control zero three, we're commencing our search. Zero three control, all understood. Control out. So there you go, it's a timely message. Um, so that's uh, Steve and Merlin who are just commencing their uh, route and path hasty search with two MISPAs that we've got placed out at the moment. Um, what we're trying to do um, today is something a little bit different. We've got one of our MISPAs actually hidden in a tent. Um, so a lot of the time uh, we hide in camouflage or behind trees or in bushes, etc. But uh, what we're doing today is, is getting someone in a tent just to simulate something that we would possibly find on a, on a, on a, on a live search. Um, so hopefully a bit later when, um, when I'm filming my search, you'll be able to see that from the other perspective. Um, so good, uh, I'll finish it there and uh, I'll speak later. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is the second part of uh, our little video. So what I'm doing now is being a MISPA or missing person. Um, the role of a missing person is to be effectively a dog's body. So um, be a body in the woods uh, for the dog to find. Um, we have to use real people. Obviously we can't use dummies because the dogs have to find um, live humans and the scent of life, live humans. We spend a lot of time doing this, hiding in the woods. Um, so if you are the kind of person who likes hiding in the woods, uh, and your weekends, then uh, being a MISPA is actually a really nice way of doing that. Um, you get to do it in all seasons, um, and we're always looking for people to come and MISPA for us, um, be new smells for the dogs to find. So if, you, if it's something that you, you think you, you might like to do, then um, get in contact uh, via our website. Um, that's searchdogsussex.com uh, and the contact us page and then you can come and do the same as us but what I'm actually doing here is waiting for search dog, Trini search dog Spice to come and find me um, so they haven't quite started yet um, so we're still waiting for the previous search to finish but I've just positioned myself ready for the search um, and what I'll do um, is effectively sit here um, and I'm going to wait to hear the bells because all our search dogs have bells uh, attached to them um, and the bells are there for a number of reasons. Uh, one is to allow the dog handlers to know where or roughly where the dogs are when they're out of sight or working at night um, uh, and the second uh, one of the main reasons is to allow the, the missing people, uh, the vulnerable missing people who are often um, uh, uh, yeah, hidden in the woods and waiting to be found. Um, you can hear the dogs coming if they're wearing bells, and um, they do sound a bit like uh, a bit like uh, Father Christmas's um, uh, helpers uh, when they're running around, as you'll you'll hear in a moment, hopefully. Um, but that's that's basically why we why we uh, why we have bells on on the on the dogs. Let me just spin the camera around to show you where I am. Right. Um, Spice is going to come from over that direction. I'm hidden in a small rhododendron bush, um, because as you can see here, um, I'm about, um, I don't know, about 10 metres off the path, and I'm on a junction, and I'm about 10 metres up the junction, so um, the purpose of my position here is to, is to get trainee search dog Spice and Vicky um, pushing up in the junctions and making sure they search all the, all the, all the appropriate area. Um, so this is where I am. Um, now you know where I am. I'll cut the video and we'll cut back as soon as I start hearing the bell, so you can hit, so you can come and see. Uh, Training search dog spice coming and find me again. Um, I haven't heard any bells yet, um, but what I'd like to say just quickly is that um, you know I'm only ten meters off the track here, and I've had uh, two dog walkers walk past in the previous couple of minutes. Um, neither one has seen me. Um, the dogs haven't spotted me. Um, I'm not totally hidden, you know, I've got my head sticking up, um, I haven't got my red t-shirt out so I've got a bit of green over the top of me, but you know, I'm only 10 metres off the path and I just want to, just wanted to illustrate the fact that, you know, you don't need to be that far off a path to be lost, um, even in England, right? Um, so you can, you know, very easily miss people, um, even when you're searching for them. Um, I guess I'm just saying that because I think it highlights the benefit of search dogs, right? Um, 
um, you know, whether it's foot searches or bike searches or, or whatever other type of searches that you're using. Um, you know, I think dogs bring a, 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 a an extra skill to to the search, which you otherwise don't have. Um, their energy, um, sensitivity of their nose. I mean, I've found, I've seen dogs um, find people from you know. You know, 150 meters away given the right conditions um, 200 meters away given even better conditions so I think um, I don't know I just wanted to just wanted to put, say that really um, still waiting for the bells I'll let you know when they come okay you probably can't hear them yet but I can hear the bells at a distance so which means that uh, trainee search dog spice is getting fairly close um, so what we're looking for here is the dog spice to come all the way in to find me um, and once once she's found me she'll turn around and head straight back to Vicky, uh, her handler, and tell Vicky that, um, that she's found me. Um, she does that by jumping up at Vicky, um, and then you'll hear Vicky hopefully shout, show me, and Spice will turn around and bring Vicky right back into where I am. Um, so that's the plan. Hopefully it will go to the plan. Um, uh, I'll switch the video around now and let you see uh, trainee search dog Spice come in and find me. Well done, Vicky. Hello. Well done, Spice. Oh, Christmas ball. Christmas ball. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll go now. Um, so we're off to start our search. Um, as I said earlier, we haven't got many people um, at training today. Um, so we're single crewing it all the way around, so I've got no support with me. Ordinarily, we'd have a, um, a search technician as support, um, but unfortunately today we haven't got enough people to do that, so um, just going around, just myself and Millie. Um, we're just heading off to our start point. Millie's not working yet, uh, she hasn't got her jacket on, so she's just playing in the woods. Uh, when we get to the search point, um, or start point, I will, uh, well, I'll start the video again, and uh, you can see. All right, see you in a minute. Bye. Are you ready? Okay, find it. All right, and there we go. Well, we've started the search now, so I'll just let control know. Control, control from Delta 1-2. Control, go ahead. Yeah, control Delta 1-2. For your information, we've commenced our search. Okay, so Millie's off searching, so she's naturally courting both sides. Uh, we're limited on the left-hand side from a barbed wire fence here, but, uh, but she'll still be searching that. Um, so she'll be going left and right, um, 
job taking account of the wind, uh, making sure she covers all the areas and basically my job as a handler is to make sure that she pitch, pushes in and, and covers all the area that she needs to cover, which in this case for a route and path search is 25 metres either side of the path. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I, I, you know, I'll, I'll be watching Millie throughout the entire search to see which bit she has covered and which bit she hasn't, um, and sending her into the boat bits that she hasn't um, myself. And also she'll be watching me. So um, obviously I'm just walking along chatting to you guys at the moment, but if I stopped here and wanted to get into here, I can stand here and just at the edge and look into this bit here. And what's happened is she'll pop out where she currently is, see that I'm stopped, and she'll run back and check this bit that I'm standing at. So here she comes. Okay, in she goes. So, um, you know, Millie and I have been working as a team for operationally for two years, and before that, we were in training for a year and a half. So, we're, we're pretty good as a team now. Um, I can read Millie very well, and she can read me very well. So, um, um, we can do it pretty much on body language. Um, but, come on, find it. Um, but my role is to put her in the right position, right? So, she's a effectively at all now um, and I'm using her to find that missing person based upon the wind and the environment and the conditions as we are. Um, so she's been on the left hand side up to that up to that tree up to, and the fence. I want to get here in here on the right here so I'm just going to step to the right of the path and have a look in and when she pops out and when she's finished where she's doing so that'll work that bit there as she's doing that's fine when she's finished, in her own time, she'll come back and search the areas that I want her to search. What I'm not doing is call her off. Uh, if I call her off, I may be being, calling her off a bit of sense. Here she comes. She's finished doing what she's doing. Now she'll go in and search the bit that I'm wanting her to search in. So, she's good. All right, let's get her in a little bit further here. That's it, Melly. Good girl. And that's a typical spaniel straight through all the bushes. Nothing stops a spaniel. Come on in, find it. Straight through all the bushes, nothing stops her. Good girl. Good girl. So she's covered that right hand side now. What she hasn't done is covered the left hand side here. So what I wanted to do is just push in this bit here. So I'm going to just come in this bit here. As she comes out, as she sees where I am, pops in straight in here, and in she goes on the left hand side. She's going a fair way there, easily 25 metres. That's good. Excellent. All right, I'm not going to film the entire search. I'll stop it here, uh, concentrate on working the dog, and I'll start it again when I think she's working okay, scent. We're a bit further on in the search. Um, not working scent yet, but I just thought I'd start the search, uh, start the video again. And let's just check that junction. Um, just coming back, I'm carrying on down the path now, nothing found there. alert is a jump up um, so if she finds uh, she'll run back to me and jump up she's still searching the head's still going left and right so she hasn't found it Let's get her in here so on the run back Millie go in in quite often when she runs back to me like that if I see her head moving left and right she's looking for junctions to go in left and right at so um, that means she hasn't found. If she'd found, she'd be running straight back with her head straight at me, looking at me, ready to bounce off me to find, uh, to take me back to the missing person. So that's uh, something that I look out for. Come on, Mills, where are they? Find it. Good girl. Good girl, find it. Again, let's get her in here on the right. Good girl, find it. I can't. So as you can see, I'm working her left and right, making sure I cover all the path as I walk up it. What I tend to do is paint it in my head. I, in my head I've got a picture of the path, 
and it's, it's green in my head and as I work Millie through it I paint it red in my head to make sure that she's covering all the area. Trying to do this bit on the left hand side. Again just step in a little bit here to tell Millie I want to do this bit. In she goes. Up in red. A bit of a junction up here, and a little bridge with a plank over it. I think in the winter when it's been raining lots, that's uh, covered in water. Right, Millie, where are they? Find it. There's a little, little ravine down there as well, so I want to get Millie down in that. So I'll just let her do what she's doing and then I'll uh, push her in here. Doing it on herself anyway, so there you go. She's searching that. In you go, in. Good girl, so she's pushing up further. That's it, good. I'm happy with that. That's 25 meters, that's good. Good girl, Millie, well done. Good girl. Right, where are they? Find it. So we're going to go down that way. Uh, I'm going to check this junction here. I'm going to push it up this way. Come on, down here. Where are they? Find it. Oh, hang on. That might be something. Good girl, where are they? Find it. that far Mills but that's very good. So we have been training as an area dog so um, level three. So I'm not I'm not I'm letting her just range like that as normal. Go down here. Good girl. Alright that might be a find. Tenter here, there you go, she's treading on her straight through the bushes. She'll come back to me now, actually, if she's found or she's still working it out. She's still working it out. So she's working backwards and forwards, she's in the center. There's not a lot of wind in, in the woods here, so she's she's working what she's got to try and figure out where that person is. Show me! Okay, nice alert there, straight on the legs. And she's basically gone back, hopefully now, to where the missing person is. Right, I'm going to stop here. Good, good girl. Well, show me. So she alerted again. Take me back into where the missing person is. All right, here we go. So I presume she's behind that tree. What I'm going to do is actually just walk this way a little bit and see if she comes and alerts me. Good girl, show me. She did, so she's not letting me away from the missing person. And here he is. Yeah, good girl. Well done. Right, reward the dog. Hello. Good girl. What's this? Really, really, really gay. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Let's get the ball out. Hello, sir. My name's Darren from Lowland Rescue. How are you? Are you safe and well? <laughs> good. Well done, Millie. Yeah. Good girl. Aren't you clever? Aren't you clever? <laughs> Good girl. So we found our first misper and we've now uh, moved on and we're now uh, searching for our second misper. So Millie's off down in that valley over there, still working her socks off. Good girl Millie, where are they? Where are they? Um, so we've got one more missing person. The next one is going to be in a tent actually, which is slightly unusual. Ah, we've got the junction here, so we need to work this junction. Get Millie down this way. Good girl, find it. Down here. Good girl. Um, yeah, so the next uh, next misper is hiding in a tent, uh, which we've not done before. Um, I've asked the misper to zip the tent up as well. Um, so scent-wise, it's going to be fairly well contained in the tent. Um, Mills, up here. Millie. Millie. Here. 
Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully it'll be okay. And uh, I'll check back in with you in a moment. Where are they? Where?
Ready, go! Yeah, you're so clever! <laughs> hey, good girl! You want some more? You want some more? Ready, go! Ready, ready, ready! Go on, jackpot! Jackpot! Yeah, there you go! Good girl! Yeah, you're so clever! Yeah, we were miles away. Yeah. Good girl. 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 Yeah. Good girl